Hello, my crafty friends. It's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be working in my One Little Word binder today. Um, and I did some pre-work already, so I just wanted to kind of go over what I did already. And then we will kind of jump in to the rest. The prompt for March is Fears. These are prompts that I got from an Allie Edwards digital kit. The kit is, or the, the Kit basically gives you the different prompts and I just decided to figure out which prompts I wanted to do when. And I decided that this one was going to be my March one because I am kind of feeling this right now. Um, so I felt like this was a really good one for March. So let me just read you what it says. So it says, one of the things that many of us face as we interact with our words is fear. What we are currently afraid of related to our word. It is that you will somehow fail or is it that you will succeed? Sometimes we are afraid of both ends of the spectrum and the overall fear keeps us from moving forward at all. Write how fear is playing with your word this year. So that is the prompt that I'm going off of. If you do want to see the full um, setup of this, you can definitely check that out. I have a playlist of all of my one little word for this binder um, in my description box down below. So I did complete the um, each month I am doing a highlights. So for March, I'm doing February highlights. Um, so I went ahead and did all of the highlights for February. Um, I'm there's probably a glare, so I apologize if there's a glare, but um, basically I just write down each of my things. I look at my planner and just kind of figure out what kind of some of the highlights were. So just some of the highlights were when um, I bought a new MacBook Pro, I had some really cool game days, I had some happy mail come in, I did a few dinners with some friends and my mom and my sister. I also did put that I dented my car door, got hit in the Del Taco parking lot, I figured even though it's not necessarily a good highlight, it's still something that happened that was a pretty significant thing. Um, and then I also put that my Seattle Tacoma um, trip that I took with um, I took with my sister at the end of the February month. So those were kind of my highlights for last month. Um, each week or each month I am taking a, a selfie of myself and putting it in my binder um, so that each so I kind of will have a record of, um, you know, all of my pictures through the through the month, through the year. So um, I decided to take a picture yesterday, um, or I think it was yesterday, or day before yesterday, I can't remember, of me in the rain. So I kind of, I it's kind of hard to hold an umbrella and take a selfie, but I wanted to make sure I showed kind of the rainy um, sidewalk. So that was my picture that I took because it's been raining a lot here this March and February. The yeah. other thing that I am doing is I am doing a currently. So I did put my currently on there. Um, I am putting the date that I took the picture down at the bottom. So that is what I'm doing for that. And then for the fears, I pulled out a couple of these journaling cards that I have. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is on there, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, and so basically I have fears and hopes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. I have this little stamp that says let go or let's go. It's from a travel kit. I am going to, um, I'm going to tape off the word, the, the letter S and then I'm going to stamp it on this card so that it says let go instead of let's go. It's so funny how one little word, one little letter like that changes the entire meaning of the word. Um, but let me actually pull out my little stamp block here. Probably don't need one this big, but whatever. Um, and then I'm going to just cut this a little bit more. sure I get all of it. Okay. 
And then what I wanted to say on this side is I wanted to say, let God. So I don't have any stamps that say that, but I am going to, I think I thought of a way I could do that. Um, if I can find the stamp I was thinking of. Okay, so I'm going to put, I wanted to say let God. <laughs> and so what I did was I'm just going to cover up the let and the little explanation mark. Now, of course, the this one stamp that I have that has like a cursive D that would be literally perfect for this. Is it in here? No. So I'm going to just assume it's somewhere in my stuff and eventually I will find it and then I can put the D on here or I will just write it with the pen. But I'm gonna put, um, and then I will add the D. In a second. Okay, so then what I'm going to do for these is I took these the stamp book or the sticker book that I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's literally one of my favorite sticker books I've ever bought because I love label stickers, just plain old label stickers. So for, oh geez Louise, close the stamp pad. Okay, so Basically what I'm gonna do is I just wrote down my fears on the different stickers and I'm just gonna stick them on here. Um, just to kind of have it a little bit more interesting than just writing like a list. I already pre-wrote all the stickers, I just tell how to find them. So just so you know, just, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that from there. So I'll just read you them. So um, my fears is something will derail, derail what I am trying to, um, that I'm trying. So that, like similar to what happened last year with um, my mom's heart stuff kind of got in the way, you know, just that became a priority. Not that that was, not that that's a bad thing. You know, that's what I should have done. Um, because my mom had heart surgery in November and so, and she started feeling really bad in March and that just kind of, you know, made that a priority versus kind of all this other stuff, which is absolutely the right thing. And that should have happened. Um, and then, so, you know, obviously that's a fear that something like that will happen again. Um, so that's always, you know, that's definitely a fear that I have. And then um, I have a fear that it will be too much to keep up with. So like all the different projects and all the different goals and all the different things that I have that I want to do will just be too much. Um, that the progress that I've already made won't stick is also another fear. And then just disengaging, just disengage, right? Just to disengage is also a fear. And then... Um, so my hopes are that the progress is going to continue. So continued progress, getting back on track will be easy. So if something does derail me, getting back on track will be easy. Um, and then um, my hopes is that I will do what really truly engages me and makes me feel engaged. And then just, you know, obviously being engaged and having engagement is also another thing that I hope. So I'm going to...
just going to look at my little box here and see if there's anything that I have that I can kind of fill that space with. So I'm trying to keep everything kind of black and white with a little bit of gold here and there. So I'm, I'm comfortable with kind of adding in some gold. Um, but it definitely, I'm doing that sparingly. Okay, I'm not really finding anything, so I think I'm just gonna put a couple of little epoxy dots up here at the top, just to add a little something, a little something something. in the top of this little pocket over here and then this one I'll just add some epoxy dots as well might as well kind of make a match And then I'll find that D and I'll put that in there so it says let God instead of let go. But we will have to do that later because I don't have it right now. Okay, so I think the other thing that I got from the digital kit that I wanted to use was this little page that said, um, what if I fail? What if I succeed? So um, I don't really want to write out different things I want. I found some stamps that I thought I could do. All right, so I know I recorded, I think I recorded all of that, but who knows how much of it's gonna make it into the video because it was a hot mess. <laughs> um, I had like pulled out so many different stamps and tried to get all this stuff in here, but um, I like, I mean, I think that it turned out the way that it turned out, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I do like the visual of like the different stamps, so I'm going to be satisfied with it for now. Um, I do want to, I feel like I need to add something, but I just am not, it's not, I'm not feeling it. I can't get there. I can't for some reason find what I need to add. So I think I'm just going to call it done. So as you can see, I've got my picture and then my currently and then I did my let go of the fears and let God for the hopes and kind of wrote some of those things. And then I went ahead and put um, what if I fail. So I basically what I took is just kind of like lazy days are OK. Maybe I can get it. To, maybe I can do it later. Take a break. It's OK. It's real life. If I fail, it's a detour. It's fine. Always remember where you came from. So, you know, always remember that you you come you come from it's all right you're like success is fine so then take a breath kind of thing and then what if I succeed it says right where I want to be give me more oh yeah um quality time together celebrate self-love so incredible and confidence so I just kind of like the quick visuals of those stamps and those words so I'm, I'm happy with the way that it turned out. I just feel like I need something else and I don't quite know what that is. So um, I'm gonna just kind of leave it and, and think about it. And then maybe in April, when I come to April's, I'll, I'll have something in my mind that I can do. But for now, I'm gonna call that done and close the book and I'm gonna be done with this video. So hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.